you for joining me today, if you could mm -hmm. please say who you are and what it is you do. Right, hello. My name is Marius Robinson. I play lacrosse. Uh, I've been doing it since the age of four. Um, and then in 2015, I was picked for the uh, England 2017 England Knights touring squad. Uh, traded them for two years and then went on tour to America. The helmet here was given to me. Um, and yeah, there we go. So, how did you first hear about the sport? Well, across. Um, we moved house, my family, and then my next door neighbours played lacrosse and they were playing in the garden and they looked over, I was playing football and then they handed me a lacrosse stick and then yeah, hey, there you go, went from there, went down to the club on a Saturday, started training, yeah. When you first went to your first training session, mm. did you, did you think that you liked the sport? Um, I don't know. When I was when I was younger, I wasn't really as athletic as I am now. Obviously, well, obviously, I mean, I've grown, but I wasn't as into it. And then as I got a little bit better, I realised that I could be successful. Started enjoying it more. So yeah, I definitely grew into it as I got on. And um, did you think when you were younger you would get to this position where you are now in terms of getting picked for one of the the um, elite club England Knights? Did you think you'd get to this position of being picked as one of the best in the country? Um, I don't know. When I was uh, younger, like you know, seven, eight, didn't really know of it. When I started getting to twelve, thirteen, and I realised I was, you know, arguably, you know, a contender for man of the match most games on the field wherever I played. Then I definitely believed in my own ability to do so, and I still back my own ability now to make it into the men's team for the up and coming World Cup. And the final question is, um, how do you prepare for matches? Mm -hmm. So local matches against teams like Mellor, which is right. a big competition, and maybe, uh, maybe friendly, maybe um, the England Knights matches that you were playing, maybe friendlies with like team splits or right. um, the tournament that you did go over there. How do you prepare yourself to play with your team as well? So. Personally, obviously, before the game, especially with the England Knights, since we do a lot of you know analysis, because it was an elite program, we'd look over previous games, we'd look at our up and coming opponents, how they play, how they set up. That's from a team aspect. In terms of local games, you know, obviously I know the kids. We're friends off the field. As soon as it's a game, we're not friends. I'm there to beat you. You're there to beat me. It's a game. Uh, as soon as the final whistle blows, I'll, I'll shake you out. We're friends again. But personally for me, getting ready for a game is a really big part of my game because some people go out there lethargically, it's just another game, I'll, I'll do this, but I get really delved into it and all my head's into it all week. I'm in school thinking about a game, we've just had the under-19 points and league decider all week, two weeks leading up to it, my head was couldn't think of anything else. Night before the game, game kicked off at 7pm, got home at 3, was in the garden, warming up then getting my hands ready, getting my, my mind focused mentally. On the way there, headphones in, blocked everything out, I was focused. And I think for me, it really gets me going personally, so when that first whistle blows, I'm ready for war. And the final game against Poynton, you've recently played. We did. You won. We did. How, I scored how, the how, goal. How was, how, 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 by the end of the match, how did you, uh, feel that oh this whole season this whole two weeks have been leading up to this point you've won this game now you champions of 2017 how do you feel it's just a sense of relief really because you know if, if I would have lost that game after putting so much of my own personal emotions into it um, I would have gone home that night I wouldn't be able to sleep would have gone to school and I would have been thinking about my mistakes gone to school the next morning in bad mood but you know, I went out there confident. I, my team believed in the ability. I believed in the ability. Got the opening goal, which was always nice. And then, yeah, and I know some of the kids that play for Point and they were on the England squad as well, so it's nice to always, you know, be your friends, one of them. But yeah, it's just a great feeling. Went inside, coach brought us a few pints. It's all fun and games. Thank you for joining me today. Anytime. Answering the questions about your life in the sport. Thank you. Peace.